Thank you so much for joining me here for your weekly energy update. We've been moving through some huge energies, which are continuing this week of July 24th through 30th. And we've just moved through the major nodal shift. And this is to help really flipping everything with karmic justice. Another big releasing, I'm saying the word cleanse, cleansing of the Piscean age here and more activations, waking up from within what's already within us. And this is coming through the DNA and the cells. There's going to be more light coming in, streaming in, waking up all of the life force energy within us, bringing back this new life to us, awakening up who we really are as well. So all of these things have been hidden, 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 very deep down within. And now it's time to recover them all back and shed away what kept us small, kept us playing it small, kept us in lack, all of these sorts of things that we've been releasing over the past few years. So, so we're at this beautiful point now of seeing the results and having more of uh, an awakening really into this new life that's begun now. So we're going to continue on with that each week here. Let's see what this week holds for us. We've got inner truth number 16. So this is again, more revelations. And this has been a big theme the past few weeks again, is bringing these truths to the surface, the apocalypse. So this is biblically promised to us. And this is going to continue unfolding. I do feel like you, you've settled at a new position here. I'm seeing a new cycle has begun. So it definitely could be connected to the North Node and South Node changing because I'm seeing a full year season that you've, you're starting a new cycle right now. So it could be for this new um, Aries North Node, Libra South Node season. I think this is for a year and a half even that this is going to um, before the nodes change again. So you're you you've completed definitely one cycle and you have a, a good year and to two years of a new cycle here beginning and we have the page of wands with that so there's new opportunities unfolding um for you here this is a new new uh perspective towards them as well and so there's so this is what's waking up you're you're seeing things here you have and it's happening through the spine i'm hearing again so this is a lot of chakra upgrades kundalini awakening that's happening and the last card we have is endings you are held so that with these endings comes the new beginnings right so you, you you're at you've completed this week is really about completing now and starting this new journey that's ahead so it's going to be more of a shift that you're feeling and experiencing and maybe a little lost and confused so this is where like you are held you're safe you have this light like i'm seeing she's got this candle in her hand the sunset has the light here the page of wands is a beautiful energy and we're in this powerful leo season which is a lot of light coming in and leadership and power um, so it's going to help us. It's, it's really going to help us. And it might be the opportunity also to focus on bringing back more light into our lives, us being the light of the world that's been coming up recently as well, waking up that component of ourselves that we're anointed, that we are, we have this power, power in our DNA and birth rates in our, in ourselves as well. And so it's part of remembering that now and using that towards this new cycle. So this week is about seeing things from a higher perspective. There might be a lot of um, totem animal support coming in, showing you to like synchronicities saying, we have to look at this from a totally different perspective, from the highest perspective basically as well. And stop, you know, um, focusing on the little things. It's, it's to have an overstanding of it all and leave it behind at this point with these endings so this is going to help us heal and have closure through a different understanding of it and then help us look towards what's coming ahead and these beautiful new opportunities and our own new fresh energy so it's i think important to focus on getting grounded this week it's going to be important and when you're grounded oh i'm feeling it right in my heart Whew. um could be a lot of heart chakra healing and that could be the theme here that when you get grounded you can 
and calm, right? You can access the information much more clearly. So there might be something related to the emotions and the heart chakra that is coming to an ending with you. And like you're loved, you're safe. You are, everything's okay here. You're okay to end things. Like there, we can go through, even if we're ending things that are not serving us, you know, it's still we go through this process of grieving and it's difficult for us to move through changes as well and trust the process and clinging on to, you know, going into the unknown is scary, wanting to cling on to what is known and comfortable. And so we're being asked to free that and heal that this week and trust, right? So this is where the inner truths are going to help you. Like, I think you know that you, you have to move on. Like we're all going through this. This is not just those of us here listening to this reading. This is a collective, like we are shifting into new earth. We have to go through this death and rebirth process and the regenesis process. And um, so you're not alone, even though you might feel very alone this week, but in, within yourself, your own inner truth is going, it's, it's like the, the wisdom in your inner truth is so strong. It's a very calm voice and it's, it's, it's a mother healing as well. I feel it's coming from a very nice uh, motherly safe energy that's guiding you saying we're, you're okay to go in this new direction. It's time to go in this new direction. And it's like the emotions have been removed out of it. The ego, the fears, like this is just a fact. Like we have to change. This is where we're going. <laughs> this is where we're going. This is what we're doing. And release the emotional attachment to it or the fears, the anxieties around it. And just trust that everything is working out and that you are held. And this is, I think the mother energy is the, she's coming in strong very very strongly here to make sure that you feel okay that you can just trust in this parental energy that's guiding you and trust that this is a new this is your healed self this is your higher self this is your inner child being safe within yourself you protecting yourself like is you are okay and you have everything that you need within you here and this voice is going to be if if you can calm down and connect into it, you're going to hear it. And the earth as well, the earth star chakra below your feet, the root chakra, the crystals, and working with crystals that have been in the earth. There's a lot of very dense earth energy here that's with you. And she's supporting you as well. Like you are safe in new earth. On the, in the, I'm hearing on the grand scheme of things. So this is where you, this understanding, like if we can just receive, tap in and receive this awareness, you'll get it. Um, there could be traveling involved. I know we're on, um, for a lot of us around summer holidays here, I'm seeing traveling to tropical places. Uh, it could be even Florida, Mexico, Hawaii. Um, that's going to be very helpful and soothing for you. There, there's grid work to do there as well. Like you're meant, if you are traveling to tropical places, Bali, there's, it's, um, you're meant to be on the land there and the ocean there, the water. And that will also help you connect. And you might also feel or get the understanding of what's going to be coming over the next year ahead. The vantage point um, could be coming into our awareness now of what, where we're going, basically, what's going to be unfolding, what to be manifesting, setting our intentions to have right now. I think things that we're beginning right now will be coming. It, it could be a six-month cycle, January, February, that we're going to start seeing um, the results right now. I'm hearing that kingdom come, they will be done on earth, like heaven on earth, um, manifesting over these next six months here as well. So uh, I'm feeling it in my, my neck the brain, there's an awakening happening in the consciousness, is clearing out these illusions here. So you can, I'm hearing fireflies, you might have see fireflies at night. Um, they, they, this is a, a heart awakening, 
this light of the fireflies is symbolic of the heart chakra awakening this light is coming on i think in the um I'm, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> this information is just coming in in the pick a card monthly july love reading i think i kept saying turn your heart light on for one of the readings like it's a, a, a time to wake up here work from where we've been emotionally shut down and had walls up okay and it's just i think been bored in life and not having any excitement and passion and this whole ending process has been like going on for journey it's been a journey you know dark nights of the soul and it's just like years and years and years and years of this stuff right and that can be very exhausting right and then we're not excited about life and changes at all so there's a fresh energy that could be definitely coming in here as well waking you up and also feeling like yeah this isn't the season of endings anymore this is the seasons of birthing and new beginnings and new new things coming in that are much better and more fruitful and aligning the heart with all of that as well could be waking up this week um for some of us so we have laughter coming through i think this is heart like it's for your heart is what i'm hearing very so to, to the inner child i think is heal, healing here and there's a lot of support for the inner child if you have children as well i think the play the laughter the vacations the fun um very will be very soothing for the soul we've got the two of swords so that's that dense energy i feel like that we're coming out of and then white purity and innocence number 51 with this diamond here human elect god is saying so we we have this crystalline light body waking up within us um these diamond codes came in this diamond heart energy came in one of the extended readings recently as well the aquarius full moon is next week this could be part of the rites of passage you're going through right now it could be the death and ending process and mourning mourning this process so that, that it's like uh, but then at the same time it's like this this fun this purity this innocence it's like this rebirth so there's a purification of the density that we've been carrying around here for sure and it's going to reveal this beautiful diamond this crystal clear energy now so it does feel like from the density and darkness from this card to the clarity of this diamond this is what's happening right now so as we travel through these timelines and go through this timeline shift right now major endings and beginnings so i think it's important to like um allow yourself to go through this process because some of the shadow wounding can be surfacing but the way you handle this is going to be different you like you're safe and supported and held and so you can go into the morning process as deep as you need to be to let it all go you know sometimes it's good if you're crying or if you're detoxing and the emotions are flowing to not like hold it down and try and limit it you know make it as quick and short and easy as possible because you're busy with other things in life or you don't want to feel all these feelings right but is i think to purify it out and cleanse it out it would be better to really go into it so that you can see it heal it acknowledge it hold space for yourself you know and let it go just let it go here and then boom things are going to switch and then maybe like you'll have a difficult night and a difficult morning and crying and then you're out with your kids playing at the pool or in the sprinkler at the park in the afternoon you know and your energy is just totally gone through this major high and low in one day and then you're, you're clean you know this pure this purification is completed so this could be the process you're experiencing right now but honor your own process and is very important and again this might continue into the full moon next week so it just depends when we start feeling the full moon coming through which is individual for everybody here so it might be this week it might be on the full moon it might be after the full moon but these are the energies coming up and so we've got the nine of wheels and nine of coins this is the last card this was coming up in the love reading for the divine feminine christ 
for this week. So this is really good. We want, you're going to be independent here of, um, I think like a graduation as well. You've got your accomplishments. You've successfully pulled yourself out of this old earth and the rat cage is what I'm hearing, like dealing with these rats and um, relationships and marriages and divorces and just like foundational things. And I think you have your masculine power very healthy here, your feminine power very healthy. There could be uh, more uni internal unification going happening here, which is waking up the heart chakra is what I'm hearing. That's what's turning on the heart light is having the Merkaba in the, the heart chakra. That's what the heart chakra is, is the Merkaba. So when the masculine and feminine seal in the, together in unity, they create that Merkaba. That's our chariot. That's our ascension vehicle. So this is part of the process you're experiencing here this week through this process of elimination. And we have expansion and then passion, love for life. This is what is coming through this process. Excitement, loving life again. Okay, on the other side of these endings is this awakening your emotional body, awakening up your emotional fulfillment, you being happy, having fun, laughter, expanding into this now. And you can see these two hands coming together, the masculine and feminine right there in the cards. So this is what it's all about here. And so as you continue healing on this level, you're going to continue this growth and awakening. And it's just it's this is the beginning of the next chapter of your life you're getting like your chakras are ascending for sure this is an expansion of your kundalini awakening your soul your spirit your light body the tree of life like there's a lot going on internally like with our own upgrades and dna upgrades right now so this is going to be felt like with the inner truth this is your cells, your DNA, your chakra system, your light body, your kundalini awakening, your expansion into this new physical body and container that's the 5D new earth, new earth superhuman. This is all happening right now and it's happening through releasing on those levels as well and letting it go, letting your heart heal and getting independent now so these energies are going to be purified out and you're going to be back in your power in your sovereignty healthy you've you've progressed really well like the ten of pentacles is the last card here right so you as an individual have successfully accomplished this for your, yourself and you've successfully created a very stable foundation for this expansion that's happening next for you in in this new beginning cycle so you've done a lot congratulations you know you're at the end honor the process this week and enjoy this moment of healing especially in nature as much as you can and by the water and we're going to be working with the circles of healing oracle card deck in the extended reading and bringing in whatever we can do here to heal and align these energies process through these endings and wake up the emotional body into these new beginnings and um, whatever else comes through in the extended reading, we just did a lot of a lot of financial security we, was just coded in in this week's extended love reading. So we'll see if the financial abundance continues in this reading here as well. But I'm hearing more about turning on waking up this emotion, this heart. So and bringing the light back into you as well, into your cells, into your DNA, just a beautiful wake up of life back into you as well. So if you'd like to join us for this week's extended reading, we'll get more cards reshuffling your life. I'm hearing as well, get more cards and all the support you need. You can re-listen. These are quantum infinite healings that continue past this week until they've completed. So you just need to show up and say yes. And again, you can re-listen to them anytime that you need support and um, they they are very inexpensive. So if you'd like to join us and receive all of these codes, you can check out the God Code Light Language. With the We have a free MP3 healing tune-up. It's a short audio that you can listen to when you subscribe to my weekly newsletter. You receive that MP3 that you can re-listen to anytime that you feel guided. That's through my website at 144godcode.com. If you need more support and healing from me, I have one-on-one -on -one private shamanic sessions open. They're over Zoom call. So we go deep into whatever you need support with and do the shamanic healing work and realign you and your life and bring in what will support you 
to replace what we've just cleared and healed and aligned for you for the human elect i'm hearing as well with that so if you need more support please do reach out and connect with me one-on-one -on -one. there's more about the god code shamanic healing sessions in the link down below and if you'd like more tribe support you can connect with our 144 membership portal community you receive god code healing within the portal on a daily basis as well as the scalar wave biofeedback energy healing so there's two healing modalities a day all of my content is available within the app and these extended readings are also at a monthly discounted price there's archived audio video readings within there as well and the activation programs are all at a discounted price within the portal when you're a portal member so if you'd like to be a part of our community and tribe there please check it out the link is down below for that thank you all so much for joining me here god bless you and have a very blessed week take care